farm. They will be met by other Iowa State University officials uh, interested in the, that department to explain to him actually what is going on. Here you see the students breaking uh, from the crowd and possibly moving to a better advantage point to get a look uh, at Mr. Khrushchev. Here you see the security of people walking along beside the cars, hurrying the lead car, telling them to move along. Cap, as we look down the uh, street, looking west, it's about as solid a mass of humanity as we have seen for a long, long time. It is, and uh, they are, what you might uh, say, interested in this uh, uh, visiting uh, delegate from another uh, country. It uh, shows that our educational institutions are interested in exchange of information, exchange of people, learning more about uh, how the people live. Now as we look north, heading south, as a car passes down by the television studios, we will get a glimpse of the official caravan as it moves along. The elite car moving toward us, moving toward our television camera. Security cars on each side. As we mentioned, the practice football field off to your left where as he passes by in an enclosure would be the Iowa State football team practicing for a Friday night game. Cap, there is about as many uh, uh, cars belonging to the security people as other cars carrying the official delegate. And uh, that is uh, what you will find in Russia in visiting with the uh, agricultural attaché in uh, Moscow last year we found that uh, whenever any of the uh, people from the embassy left uh, Moscow, there were usually uh, two or three black limousines ahead of them and two or three black limousines behind them as they moved uh, uh, around the country. It would be interesting to know the estimate of the crowd. Uh, as we said earlier, it looks as if Visha was upon us, and uh, we know that uh, that can't be capped, but uh, the crowd resembles uh, Visha at Iowa State University. This will be something that the young people will remember for a long time, and I think uh, that uh, it will have a tendency to broaden their reading, Dick, uh, uh, when it comes to international affairs, and particularly when it comes to uh, the Russian-U.S. Uh, uh, relationships. Perhaps we could uh, term this as a visha, because at uh, that time of the year, the uh, uh, university opens its doors, goes on display. Today, we have more or less opened our doors uh, cap and uh, a visiting dignitary has taken a look. In the few minutes, uh, or I should say the, uh, the couple of hours that he will have here at Iowa University, and the few minutes that he's had on campus, uh, you can't begin to, to get a visual picture of it. But I do hope that uh, this visit will inaugurate the opportunity to bring more young people from Russia and other people who actually uh, uh, do the work in Russia to this country to see how we do uh, live, how we work, how we play in this country. Uh, not just the uh, top echelon, which has been the bulk of the people that have come to this country, but the uh, everyday working uh, uh, people to come here and share experiences with us. Perhaps you would wonder what the buses uh, are. They're carrying the press as they continue on the tour on the university campus. This is looking south on the campus. Off to the right, you see the enclosure of the practice football field. Cars and ambulance uh, following behind the buses as a precautionary measure, should they be needed. As we look to the south, uh, our shot gone, but you could see a portion of Helzer Hall, one of the new men's dormitories on the campus. The cars making a left turn will head east, will wind uh, down around the, the lake on the university campus, Lake Laverne, will head past the Memorial Union, where uh, Mr. Khrushchev should get a good glimpse of uh, student life. And that is... And the... Uh, ...making a left turn will head east, will wind uh, down around the, the lake on the university campus, Lake Laverne, will head past the Memorial Union, where uh, Mr. Khrushchev 
should get a good glimpse of uh, student life. And that and the uh, caravan of the official party, Chairman Khrushchev and uh, the other Russian visitors to Iowa State University has just uh, appeared. Our cameras are picking them up as they approach the swine nutrition farm. And in just a moment, the first car will turn into the lane and Chairman Khrushchev, Madame Khrushcheva, and the other members of the party will arrive for a very thoroughly organized visit to this very interesting and uh, very important part of Iowa State University. With me here is Professor Vaughn Speer of the Swine Nutrition Section of the Animal Husbandry Department, who will tell us as Mr. Khrushchev visits the various buildings and the various swine pens and the exhibits here, what it is that the chairman will see. The official car has just arrived. You can see on your screen, Chairman Khrushchev is being greeted by officials of Iowa State University. Also in the picture is uh, Henry Cabot Lodge, the ambassador to the United Nations, and the usual cluster of press photographers, motion picture photographers, around Mr. Khrushchev. It is planned and hoped uh, that a little later uh, our mobile television microphones will be used to let you listen to some of the explanation of this swine nutrition program as it is given to Chairman Khrushchev by Dr. Damon Catron, the uh, manager of this swine nutrition farm. The farm itself is uh, approximately 90 acres, and the uh, swine population at any one time is around 2,000. The usual formalities of uh, greeting Mr. Khrushchev at each of his stops is now going on, and in just a few moments he will begin this walking tour of the program. The tour is a very short one in walking. It takes about seven minutes, but uh, the usual delays before the walking tour begins are now uh, besetting us. And we shall follow the progress of the official party if and when it begins. Dr. Spear, uh, we were speaking a few moments ago about the, uh, the total investment in this uh, swine nutrition, and perhaps uh, uh, you can begin by telling us what, what the actual purpose of it is, uh, swine nutrition. What, what's the meaning of the phrase? Well, of course, Jack, our uh, real goal in all of our research work here is to build or develop uh, better methods of feeding swine, particularly Iowa swine, Jack. By better methods, uh, what what uh, what result is to be achieved? Are we do, are do we do it to do it more economically, financially, or to uh, to make better pork, or uh, what is it? Well, here again, we have a uh, about a threefold uh, purpose. That is, first, uh, produce a marketable product that the uh, that the housewife will accept. In other words, we want a real meaty uh, pork chop. We want a meaty uh, type bacon and ham and so forth. On down the line here then would be uh, we are interested in uh, an efficient producing hog that is a rapid gaining pig uh, one that will gain on the least amount of feed possible. And uh, there is one outstanding uh, uh, fact that we've been uh, presented around here since we've arrived. Uh, this is the, the uh, idea of early weaning. Is that uh, true? That's right. Uh, Iowa State University, Jack, has pretty much pioneered in this field of swine production. And uh, Mr. Khrushchev will see uh, pigs that have been weaned uh, at the age of two weeks. Is that right? Is it? This, this, uh, and remember, uh, please, that you're speaking to a, a real city boy who knows nothing about it and to a great many uh, city folks who would like to know uh, just how unusual this is. 
Uh, Jack, the normal weaning age uh, up until the last few years has been somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to nine weeks of age. Now, we started along about 1953 in developing uh, diets which would allow us to wean pigs uh, routinely at one week of age. At the present time, we're routinely weaning all of our pigs at two weeks of age. Uh, what they're seeing now, uh, as the viewers see it on the screen. They are now approaching a model uh, sow farrowing and pig nursery unit. Uh, this uh, building, uh, Jack, was put up in cooperation with industry, by the way, along with Iowa State College. They seem to be uh, delayed there uh, at the present time, but uh, they just a few more yards to go before they arrive at this particular unit. I see considerable interest on the part of Ambassador Menshikov, who has just disappeared behind a uh, felt hat there, but he was uh, craning his neck to see better. and. I am sure that their, the visit here is going to be very interesting for our Russian visitors. Now they are progressing to what point? Uh, they're still approaching this uh, sow farrowing and pig nursery unit. Uh, their first stop at this unit will be at the sow farrowing unit, which has 20 sow uh, farrowing stalls in it. Uh, in this unit, he will see sows either that have farrowed or uh, about to farrow. Now you can just see the uh, corner of this building in the left or the right hand side of your screen. I wonder if uh, the chairman will be able to see through that bunch of photographers. <laughs> yeah, well, I see he's up toward the window and he's going to get a good view of the farrowing uh, establishment here. Yes. We purposely put in a lot of windows in this uh, unit, Jack, because we have a lot of visitors out here, and we prefer that they not go in the building because of disease hazard. Yes. I noticed uh, a no admittance sign on the door there that uh, the disease control was the uh, reason for it. Well, he's seeing now uh, sows in farrowing stalls. At the present time, uh, uh, the unit is not quite full, but he should get an idea of how we handle our sows uh, here at Iowa State College, as well as uh, the method that a lot of swine producers here in the state of Iowa are now handling them. That is in a farrowing. Uh, Mr. Kruchev is here to uh, view our system of raising swine, uh, being uh, both short and, and as far as uh, uh, animal protein is concerned, and it ties in very well with what he saw at the Garst farm this morning. Corn production and hog production go hand in hand. As we can see on the screen, uh, uh, Chairman Khrushchev is uh, quite voluble. It's, he seems to have quite a few questions for Dr. Katrin, and uh, uh, I hope that that will continue as we get on over to this uh, display of nutrition. Well, Jack, a uh, pig at this age, which he is seeing now, uh, is a very lovable creature. It isn't until he gets up around three or four hundred pounds that he becomes a, an obstinate creature. And uh, Mr. Khrushchev has uh, demonstrated in some of his uh, uh, appearances here in the United States uh, with some of the children and, uh, and in some of his uh, humorous and uh, rather quaint comments that he has some very human uh, uh, qualities, uh, at least uh, uh, when he's uh, not uh, engaged in political arguments, uh, Mr. Khrushchev seems to be a very human sort of a person. And uh, I am sure that the, the pigs, as, as we saw them in there a few moments ago, would, be, would appeal to him. That's right. There's approximately 100 uh, baby pigs in the uh, unit which he is now looking at. And his next stop, of course, will be baby pigs again, where he will be actually inside the building and uh, we'll get even a clearer view of them. We had his uh, time schedule, uh, at least I saw it in, uh, in uh, Professor Catron's hand a few minutes ago, and it seems as if he will have time for the entire planned tour. Is that uh, correct? It, it certainly uh, seems uh, like he is taking his time. Uh, we're very happy, of course, that, that he is able to uh, take some time. We were uh, rather scared that he may even just drive through the farm. We had been warned to be prepared for anything. I believe that some of the members of the party have remained in the cars. They seem to be uh, so to have driven past us here, and they're poised as if ready for flight, but uh, uh, we hope that uh, 
Mr. Khrushchev will delay the uh, departure until he has seen all that you want him to see here. I wonder if uh, Mrs. Khrushchev hasn't uh, stayed in the car. I have not seen her uh, in the uh, touring group, at least. No, I have not either. I suspect that she has. Yes, she has. She has remained in uh, one of the uh, limousines. There you see uh, Professor Katrin uh, gesticulating and uh, uh, explaining something uh, to Mr. Khrushchev, who appears to be very interested. Uh, it must be uh, quite a chore for the interpreter, because I'm sure there's a lot of esoteric language connected with the swine nutrition that uh, will be difficult of translation. That's right. And if this interpreter isn't familiar with the uh, swine talk, let's say, he's, he's probably in trouble. <laughs> Speaking of swine talk, we did have a very interesting sound effect from the swine out here in the in the pen. I don't know whether our audio engineer can uh, introduce that uh, sound effect uh, to us right now or not. But uh, yeah, he has it in the uh, in the sound. He tells me. And now they we are, are approaching the east end of the building back of us, uh, Jack. They will be going inside of this building, and we will lose them for a few minutes. Uh, as far as TV pickup is concerned. Well, and if that uh, if that be true, well, well, will you wait just a moment, and we'll see if that uh, if that is true. Uh, then we have an assignment for you, Doctor Spear, to uh, take over on a on another microphone at the exhibit, showing the various phases of the swine nutrition. Uh, we'll see in a moment. No, the party has come to a standstill again. Maybe we are making a decision as to whether or not to go into the building. We'll have to wait just a moment to find out. We're having to look in two directions here. Our television monitor is uh, in one direction toward the west, and uh, we are looking carefully toward the east. I wonder, Jack, if he didn't look at the mill room and the feed mixing and grinding and pelleting equipment. Uh, I believe the, the other camera probably couldn't pick this up. Uh, but as much time as they spent there, I wouldn't doubt of what he actually went into the mill room. As I believe that's what has happened. And now some of the photographers are appearing uh, in front of the official party, and it seems as if they are going to go directly to the uh, exhibit, which uh, Professor, no, they have turned and they're going into the building and uh, Dr. Spear uh, will, while Mr. Khrushchev is out of view of our television cameras, uh, explain to you uh, exactly what uh, uh, Dr. Katrin will explain later to uh, Chairman Khrushchev. Here is Dr. Spear.